Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe, and today we're back out with another episode of Detroit Become Human. So here we are playing as Marcus. Getting home after that little uh, scuffle in downtown Detroit, meeting people that uh, claim that he's stealing their jobs. Wait, Carl upstairs. But, in the last episode, we actually played as Kara, the third... Thing noteworthy in the mirror? I suppose not. Um, so we played as Kara, and we learned that there's maybe a little bit of, uh, to put it mildly, abuse going on in that house between Todd, his daughter Alice, and Kara. So we saw some pretty disturbing images, and we also found some uh, pretty disturbing uh, evidence also of substance abuse. Are those android birds? Alright, well, that helps. Brighten the mood a little bit. It is early in the morning. Is there anything through here? Oh, holy moly, it's like a museum in here. Alright, um... What's through here? I know we're supposed to wake Carl up, but, uh... I kind of want to see, like, what's around. Because this guy has a massive collection of what appears to be artwork. Oh! This is pretty cool! I like that. That's awesome. Alright, we can tidy up some of the uh, art supplies. Alright. Looks like there's some more stuff all over the ground that shouldn't be there. Because, of course, this is art. What else? Oh, uh, we got a couple more things over here. Help him be pleasantly surprised. Is there anything else? Yeah, the back counter. Oh, no, never mind, right here. Jaws of paintbrushes. Definitely need to be scrubbed out. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, I'm assuming Carl is upstairs. Right? Yeah, wait, Carl, upstairs. Okay. So what's Marcus's role? Oh, hold on, there's something else. Um, interesting. Holy moly, what is this? <laughs> And there's a giraffe right over here. Don't oh, know. It looks like it's a it's gonna come to life any. Si oh my god, that's freaky. <laughs> that's kind of creepy. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna come to life like any second. Draw the curtains. All right. This, Carl. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I'd be doing I did the same go thing. to pick up the paint that you ordered. 
Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You and never forget the oh. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Don't Wasn't worry about it. Just some demonstrators in the streetcar. What a bunch of idiots. People are animals. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. So it looks like Marcus is a caretaker. That cat is creepy as well. <laughs> Again, no judging. Show on the agenda today. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Mm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Want to go too Maybe far? Oh, far. he's catching up. <laughs> No, I say I don't want to go too far ahead in case the I can call him something's wrong with the no. machine. No, I don't bother. All right, into the kitchen or the dining table. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Of course. Serve breakfast. Here's the kitchen. Guess it would have made more sense if I uh, had it already on the table ready for him, but oops. <laughs> breakfast. Oh, Thank yum. You, Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Right. Let's find something to do. Breakfast served. I did notice an icon showed up when I walked over here earlier. Piano. Let's give it a try. And there's a bearskin, well, 
a lion skin right on the edge of the piano just staring at me. Let's do Hopeful. All I'm doing is just tapping the touchpad. How long am I supposed to keep doing this? Now <laughs> I'm gonna get out. Oh. Something has changed in the way you play. I went faster. <laughs> Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. That's saying that's speaking well, volume. I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Okay. Let's go to the studio. I'm assuming this. Clean everything up for you. Let's see where we left off. Wow, kudos Remove to him. Holy moly. Remove the sheet. Okay, we can do that. That is impressive. Wait for Carl's instructions. I already cleaned the studio. This is an artist at work. Holy moly. I don't know what it is, but I still commend him. That's pretty awesome. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Of course I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? Uh, I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> okay. Looks like we're gonna paint. Find a subject to paint. We can paint the statue, we can paint the desk. All right, uh, I guess we can paint the statue. Wow, 
Wow. That is a perfect copy. That's pretty good. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. I mean, I'm no Picasso, but all right. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Let's do identity. Androids. All the subjects with my eyes closed. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? Are you serious? What the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter? More obedient? Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Jesus. All right, well, looks like there was only one ending here after all that, but these other two options I'm assuming were if you selected androids or humanity before selecting androids. There are other options up here, too. Play the piano. There are two other activities in the same room. And apparently, I missed something else down here. I activated the birds. But it looks like there were more things to do, which I didn't even catch. But, uh, oof. Leo sounds like he's gonna be trouble. Alright, we'll carry on.
No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Alright guys, I think on that note, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here. So thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Detroit Become Human here on Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video. And feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Detroit Become Human here on Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day.